The countdown has begun for China's first cargo ship, Tianzhou-1, to make its maiden trip to space and dock with space lab Tiangong-2. And as is with the tradition since 1965, the mission will be carried out by one of the members of China's Long March family. This time around, it's the Long March 7Y2 rocket that will bring pride to the family of carrier rockets, which in 52 years brought about four generations and 17 types of rockets. Before all eyes turn to Wenchang Satellite Lunch Center in South China's Hainan province, here's an overview of China's Hall of Famers, the 2016 Rocket Edition. The Long March 7Y2 rocket is a medium-sized rocket that made its maiden flight in June 2016. It can carry up to 13.5 tons to low Earth orbit. That's around two mature African elephants or 91 sumo wrestlers, which makes it a good carrier of man-made satellites and cargo spacecraft. The Long March 2 is the most prolific of the Long March family. After experiencing failure in 1974, China successfully sent its first return satellite to space a year later in 1975. The Long March 2F rockets are probably the most famous of the family, having launched several spacecrafts, including the Shenzhou 5, which is China's first manned space mission in 2003, the Tiangong 2 Space Lab in 2016, and last but not least, China's heavy lift rocket, the Long March 5, which made its debut in November 2016. It is the country's strongest carrier rocket with a payload capacity of 25 tons in low Earth orbit and 14 tons in geostationary orbit. The Long March 5 is tasked with carrying the Chang'e 5 lunar probe later this year, as well as China's space station module and Mars probes. It gained skyrocketing fame online, with netizens calling it chubby, Five, thanks to its compact size, which inspired a group of memes. By the end of 2016, the Long March rockets have carried out over 200 missions with a success rate of over 95%. The family of rockets has been growing bigger as China's path in space exploration continues. <laughs>